Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Box and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're taking a look at a cool new way that Microsoft is allowing you to take a little bit more control out of your HDR experience. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so if you're a owner of an HDR equipped monitor, then maybe your display isn't quite as good as it could be. Now, possibly you are one of those lucky people that actually owns a color calibration tool, such as the one that we reviewed up here, which you can check out. If you don't want to spend that sort of money and you want to calibrate it to kind of what your eyes see, just to give you a pleasing image, and maybe you don't have to do specifically kind of completely color accurate video, whatever, whatever your content creation or consumption is, you don't always want it to be exactly right, you just want it to look pleasing to you. And there's actually a really easy way of doing it now. So let's head over to the computer and I'll show you how to install it and actually how to use it. So this is our Windows 11 desktop. Uh, version wise at the moment, we are currently on, I think it's 22H2. Yep, so this is the latest version of Windows. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna head over to the uh, control panel and go into settings, we then go into display. And if you've got an HDR monitor, there's a very strong chance you'll have this bit here saying use HDR, which currently I've got enabled. If you click on the bar, it will expand and you get more information about your HDR setup. So as you can say, HDR video streaming is supported and use HDR is also supported. Now there is also another section here which is quite new, which is HDR display calibration. So basically this improves the color accuracy and consistency on your HDR display. So if you want to, you can click on this link and it will open up a web page, which I will show you now. So this goes to one of the Microsoft Store apps, or alternatively you can go directly to the App Store itself by clicking on the App Store icon, uh, whichever way you want to do. Let's uh, do get in store app, you'll get the warning saying, do you want to open the Microsoft Store? Yes, we do. And then we've got the option for the Microsoft Store, Windows HDR calibration from Microsoft Corporation. It's actually got 4.6 stars, which actually is pretty decent. So let's install it and uh, see if we can improve on that score. So it's a pretty quick download, installing, and we can click on open. So this is the HDR calibration tool. As you can see, things to make sure your, obviously your HDR monitor is set to HDR and that the window that this is actually on is on the screen that you actually want to calibrate if you're lucky enough to have a multi-monitor setup. Now, of course, monitors are all different, so you can actually run the HDR calibration tool on two monitors or more, and it will have a separate profile for each monitor. So essentially how to use it is your starting point is a kind of a checker box, almost like a Microsoft logo, how ironic, and the goal is to have a completely flat screen or all the colors being the same. So let's go ahead and click on get started. So this, I'm not sure how this is gonna show actually on screen because obviously I'm recording this. So um, your screen may look different, but I can just about see the outline here of the squares. So what we wanna do is to move our slider until it's disappeared completely. A bit like what we used to do when uh, firing up some games, it will give you an option to set up your color profile. Now on the opposite side now, we want a completely white screen so you just keep on doing it. You may find that actually you get a bit of screen burn into your eyeballs. So do kind of take a few seconds and move it forward and back just to make sure that it is completely gone. My particular screen has a somewhat a um, bit of a, a pinkish tinge to it. So I need to address that as well. So we're gonna do the uh, full frame luminance again. Leave it a couple of seconds and then scroll back in just so it reappears, just so you're kind of on the edge of it. There we go, next. And then you can do your color saturation should you wish to. So you've got less or more. You can choose how saturated your displays will be. So I have it somewhere around 20%. We'll click on next. And so it shows you the screen there. So before calibration, so before calibration, we can see this part of where the sun is behind the clouds is kind of almost completely blown out over this side. The rest of it all looks fine to be honest with you. Um, you know, there's very little difference, but on this side you can see there's a little bit more blue in the sky and also where it's blown out here is more accuracy. You can see actually where the sun is and where it's reflecting on the water there. At least I can on my screen, you may not on yours. 
You can, if you want to, name your profile at the bottom here, so HDR calibrated profile, and it gives you a timestamp, so you can do what you want there, and also the monitor name, so this is on our electric 24-inch uh, 4K monitor. So once that's done, you can click on finish if you're happy. If not, you can go to restart and recalibrate if you don't see any differences or it basically looks the same or you would want to tweak it a little bit more. So click on finish and it'll say then color profile associated. Now, whenever Windows boots up, it will load up that profile and your screen should look wonderful, which actually, I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty impressed. Mine does look quite nice. Anyway, so there you go, there is how to configure HDR on your monitor if you don't have the luxury of a dedicated color calibration tool. Hopefully this video's been interesting for you and hopefully it's actually been useful as well. If it has, smash the like button if you want to see more content like this on a daily basis. Hit the subscribe button and the chime notification and you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.